Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Maelstrom in the White Rider. Uh, he was hoping for the Black Rider, because he's more of a raid person, but uh, White Rider, he said, is pretty good. It has lost a lot of its skills from uh, GBO, t uh, from Code Fairy, rather, and a lot of the rest of it just kind of behaves differently. But the one thing that it's gained that is definitely an improvement over uh, Code Fairy has a Mega Beam Launcher that behaves like the standard G4, so one big shot, 10,000 damage there, and you can charge it while boosting, or while moving, which you don't have to plant your feet to fire a gun with uh, that kind of attack power. Uh, the Zeus uh, ab ability, which of course is the predecessor of Hades, uh, also... Uh, uh, also halves the charging time, so it is. Uh, it only takes 10 seconds to charge when uh, you are in Zeus mode. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, it uh, it uh, lost its uh, it lost its dodge roll under Zeus from uh, Code Fairy, and it also doesn't have shock dampeners the way it did in there. So, which to be honest, all of which in a 450 support would probably be a little much, but. It's still a Mega Beam Launcher wielding, Gatling wielding, missile wielding, uh, you know, basically a Pale Rider Cavalry when you get down to it uh, as a support, except with a much bigger beam gun. So, yeah, it definitely has its, mo its uh, uses, and I hope I can get a hold of these, because I really kind of want to see them both. Good shot there on, on that, uh, I think it's a, I'm not sure which one that it is, but it's dead now. Uh, some Zaku variant, probably. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It also has a heat ray here because the, because of the out, uh, the, uh, out, uh, put of the, uh, proto Shekina, it cannot run a, uh, beam saber. All, basically all of its reactor output is reserved for, uh, reserved for the big gun, which, you know, as, as you've seen from the, uh, uh, Space Beyond the Blaze story in, uh, uh, G Generation Genesis, it, it's, you've really got to dedicate a lot of power to that to keep your mobile suit from blowing up. And, good lunge there. Unfortunately, somebody else already got the kill, so, yeah, Mal said sorry, but this is, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Got caught in some support fire, though. Um, and I'm not sh I, I'm, I would love it if the, uh, if Zeus, uh, sped up the cooldown, but I'm sure it doesn't. Uh, let's see, five minutes left, uh, 2,000 point lead, it's a good place to be in. Gatling does respectable damage, about 240 a shot, seems to fire fairly quickly. And yeah, just to, uh, it does look like it's carrying a giant bow, which I believe, uh, uh, which I believe jibes with the, uh, usual description of the White Rider, so. And, let's see, yeah, um, a little bit surrounded here. Unfortunately, got caught in the downswings, so, yep, nothing, nothing you can do about that when you're that surrounded. So, yeah, 4,900 to 4,300, that's not bad. Or actually, 4,930 to 4,390, which just kind of, you know, just does, does, it, it's got, it, it appeals to the numbery part of my brain that all the same digits were involved somehow. Uh, 5675 to 5000, there's something with jamming in the area, um, could be... I forget, I forget if the, uh, the Freak Jaeger has that. I know the, uh, whoops, I know, I know the Freak Noct does, but I don't remember if the Jaeger has jamming. I know it has stealth. I think it does have jamming now that you mentioned it, because I remember Mail talking about, you know, a Jaeger and a uh, Noct working together could really kind of throw things into chaos, so... Yeah, worth a shot sometime. And he's back, and he's pulled out the Heat Rapier. And there's the Galvaldi. See, I've got and and uh tonight, because, like I said, almost four in the morning. And... See, Galvaldi is there, and... Good shot there. Yep, two, two melee hits it here. So, seems like we're getting more and more uh, uh, supports with melee combo controller, and honestly, nothing wrong with that. It just, uh, we, we've been, we've all been saying for a while the supports could use a little something, and I'm, I'm still uh, inclined to uh, believe that. I think, hopefully, eventually we'll get a new uh, skill uh, for them that kind of helps bring them, 
you know, bring them up a little bit more. Ah, it's one of those things of, uh, you know, they uh, they did a big overhaul on raids uh, a couple of years ago because raids were underpowered. You now raids aren't underpowered, but they can really overwhelm uh, uh, a uh, support if they get to them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it's kind of one of those things of you have to be, you have to be careful with whatever they're going to do if they do anything. If they, if they think it's a problem as much as we do, because by the stats they might not. But, uh, yeah, if they do anything to help supports, um, it could just be a thing where that throws the game out of balance for one of the other uh, classes. So what do you do? And, yeah, I think that's about where he uh, discovered that uh, you do not get uh, dodge roll uh, or any other kind of stun protection with, uh, with Zeus, which is a shame. But two minutes left, fairly uh, close match, 10-8-25 to 10-1040, and I may sneeze. That would be bad. I'd like to not sneeze and not have to start this over. Well, so far, so good. Thank you, Nose. Okay, yeah, the, the Afrit, uh, the Afrit Jaeger does have jamming, because that's what is in front of him, and that's what's causing the jamming warning, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, he has now gone into Hades to, uh, or in, into Zeus to, uh, uh, to charge the weapon. As you can see, it charges a lot quicker now. He's picking out a shot. Unfortunately, he hit the, uh, he hit the wall there, but also had a, enough speed to get out of downswing range from that Alex. Ah! Does not uh, uh, Zeus does not appear to give any more travel on the uh, uh, on the uh, downswing lunge either, sadly. But so far, so good. Uh, it ha also has a grenade launcher. I keep forgetting, which is about on par with the uh, Regal Goose, which is a really good grenade launcher. Managed to take down that Alex, and yeah, gun is still re uh, loading very slowly, like the me uh, Mega Beam launcher on the. Uh, on the G4, it's pretty much you're going to get maybe two shots in a round if you don't get killed. And Zeus has been depleted, and uh, which means there's no feet involved anymore, so it's a good time to run away with 1600 health. Especially in a moderately close round, where they managed to pull away and get about a 3000 point lead here at the end, but still, good time to, good time to get out of there and just hide and maybe get some repairs if you can. And, yeah, 20 seconds left. Or just lay, lie and wait with a grenade, and hope. And, let's see. 10 seconds left. Somebody's coming around the corner, but it's hard to get a good angle with that grenade. I think the grenade might be a left-handed weapon, so yeah. Gatling, though? Gatling always works. And got the grenade, and it readies up very quickly, too, it seems like. So, yeah, good stuff. Good last-second kill, and pretty good indicator all around, I'd say, of what the, a white rider can do. So, yeah, I, I hope I can get this. Looks neat. And 3,500 out of 16,000 is Maelstrom's score. 78,000 damage, 7 kills, 3 deaths. Not bad. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And that should keep me pretty much current on things for now, so time to do my Genshin Daily since the day is about to reset and then go to bed.